west and a little rainy in Pittsburgh tonight but we will start on time Cubs and the Pirates will wrap up a four game series the Cubs have taken two of the first three. Welcome to Cubs baseball here on WGN Jim Deshays and Len Casper and the Cubs have dominated the Pirates this season if it were a little more even the Pirates might be in the playoffs. Yeah it's been a tough go for the Pirates the Cubs have really dominated the season series winning 14 of the 18 games so far outscoring them uh, by 40 runs and of course the Cubs starters have been good about against everybody they have posted a 344 ERA against Pittsburgh. You're going to have a lot of guys who don't normally start in the lineup for the Cubs tonight including Rob Zestrisny he'll get his first major league starting yeah, assignment and, and Rob is, is, is look good out of the bullpen he's made seven appearances out of the pen so far here's a profile on Rob born in Edmonton moved to Texas at a very young age second round pick in 2013 uh, out of the University of Missouri four games to go in the regular season the Cubs look for win number one oh two tonight they'll face a right hander Ivan Nova for the Pirates it's been a wild series hasn't it Cubs look to take three out of four next. is brought to you by Budweiser not backing down since 1876 this buds for you Honda great deals are waiting for you now at your local Honda dealer State Farm there for you when things go wrong but also here to help life go right talk to an agent today at 800 State Farm mattress firm where we want you to sleep happy guaranteed remember if it's over eight it's time to replace your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer. And by Southwest Airlines. Transparency, low fares, nothing to hide. Chicago Cubs baseball in beautiful high definition. Isn't that a great shot here at PNC? Brought to you by Xfinity. Xfinity X1 will change the way you experience TV. Right hander Ivan Nova will face the Cubs for the first time in his career and here is Joe Madden's lineup brought to you by Southwest Tommy Lestella will play third Albert Almora Jr's had a nice series he's in center Addison Russell's going to hit third tonight ahead of Wilson Contreras who's out in left Javier Baez at first for Anthony Rizzo Matt Caesar is in right Tim Fedorovich 
will get a rare start behind the plate. Munanori Kawasaki at second, and Rob Zestrizny, the pitcher, hits ninth. Where are the Pirates deployed tonight? Rodriguez has been all over the diamond in this series. He's in left this evening. Andrew McCutcheon plays center. Josh Bell, the rookie, is in right. Gung Mercer, Hanson Freeze, third to first. Eric Fryer is behind the plate. And Ivan Nova will pitch, uh, traded over from the Yankees. He's made 25 starts overall, 12 and 8 with a 4.25 ERA, 5 and 2 with a 3.19 in 10 starts with the Buckos. He leads the majors in strikeouts to walks since that trade. 47 punch outs, only three walks. And we're underway. First pitch strike on La Stella. Happy to get this one started on time. La Stella in the air to right. Josh Bell out there tonight. And he's got it for out number one. Pirates wearing their camos tonight. It'll be hard to find out there. Set the umpires for you. That's the crew chief Brian Gorman. Mark Carlson is at first. Quinn Walcott at second. Chris Guccione at third. 63 degrees. As we get going. Albert Almora Jr. Takes ball one. Talked the other night about Albert and his bid to make the postseason roster as Gong will throw him out. Cubs have some decisions to make over the next week in terms of who will make up that bench in the bullpen. How they'll line up the starting rotation. Some of it may depend on who the wild card winner is. Now Russell. And a lot of it may have already been decided, but you know, Joe Madden just there's no sense in going public with that information at this point. Nova four pitch mix, fastball, curve, slider, change. He'll use the curve more than the slider. He'll top out at 95, 96. Typically work around 92. There's 92 and a strike. He isn't taking a lot of time between pitches. The Pirates are playing their final home game of the season. They'll finish up in St. Louis. Cardinals hoping all those games will be important to their playoff bid. As Nova works a very quick one, two, three first inning. The Pirates record. They were eliminated a couple of nights ago from postseason contention. Mercer, Bell, McCutcheon at the top. Gung, Rodriguez, and Freeze in the middle. Rodriguez has had a big series. Hanson, the rookie. Fryer, the veteran catcher. And Nova, the pitcher, rounded out. Cubs defensively uh, with a little different look here tonight. 
Contreras, Elmore Jr., Caesar, left center, right. Third to first, Lestella, Russell, Kawasaki, Baez makes his second start of the year at first base. Tim Fedorovich gets a start behind the plate. And our Blue Cross Blue Shield Cub starting pitcher tonight is Rob uh, Strizny. Choose Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois, the car, to carry through it all. Not sure how far he can go, but and <laughs> before we even get started, Fedorovich laughing. He asked for time. Strizny is 24 years of age, 6'3, 205. He was 7 and 3 with a 433 at Triple A, working as a starting pitcher there. And as we mentioned, all of it here so far out of the pen. Yeah, I would think, you know, three, four innings if he's efficient tonight. Fouled away by Jordy Mercer, one ball and one strike. So Strizny is the 10th starting pitcher used by the Cubs this season. He is the fifth Cubs starting pitcher in team history with his surname starting with Z. The fifth? The fifth. Zambrano. Yeah. Jeff Zahn. Oscar Zamora and Zip Zabel. Oh, yeah. As Mercer went. And Fedorovich will fire to Baez. Is it Zabel or Zabel? I don't know. I just assumed. Say it with authority. Furthermore, Jake Arietta started last night. Mm -hmm. I remember that. So the Cubs went from A to Z. These last 24 hours for the first time since 1915 when Carl Adams made a start and then Zabel or Zabel started the next day. And last night it was zombie night. Ooh. Yeah. It's all coming together now. Well we got a whole spelling bee here tonight with Sestrizny, Fedorovich, Kawasaki, Caesar. Come and get it. That was picked by Lestella. Well, it's early, but it has the feel tonight. Some early swings, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah, it doesn't uh, have a lot of meaning in the standings. Yes, both teams traveling, uh, night game, possible rain, rain later, rain, rain in the area. Andrew McCutcheon with two outs and nobody on. Fastball at the knees for a strike. One bit of news today Cubs announced Jason Hamill has been scratched from his scheduled start. Tomorrow night in Cincinnati, he has some mild tightness in his right elbow. It's been bothering him just a little bit. If the game had meaning, he would be able to take the start, but there's no sense in pushing it. Uh, did play catch off flat ground today. So the Cubs starter tomorrow will be sorted out once we get through tonight's game. Depending on the bullpen. Yeah, needs. and that may mean that Joe would ask a little bit more of uh, Zastrzyzny here tonight. Bounced another one. Maybe Jake Buchanan tomorrow. Rob uh, is not going to overpower you. He has a uh, pretty good idea what he's doing out there, though. Commands the fastball, keeps it down around the knees, throws a good curve, throws a cutter and a changeup. Here's his 3 2. We'll try it again. We, according to the, the radar, are surrounded by rain. But we might be all right. I feel a little nervous anytime I'm surrounded by anything. <laughs> that is ball four. Did every non strike in that at bat bounce in front of home plate? I do not know. 
That would require a level of paying attention I may not be capable of now that we're surrounded by rain on all four sides. So Rob, uh, you know, when he first came up, he was getting fairly frequent work and looking at his game log here. He worked on August 19th, 21st, 27th, 29th, September 1st, September 4th. Then he didn't pitch for 20 days. And I thought, well, maybe he's hurt. Maybe they're just shutting him down. But uh, obviously that's not the case. And it just wasn't a good spot to get him in. He continued to uh, throw side sessions and was ready to go. Jong Ho Gung with two outs and McCutcheon at first. Scoreless baseball in five of his seven appearances so far. It looked for a while there that he was really going to be in play in terms of the postseason roster, but with the usage patterns here lately, it, it looks like uh, Montgomery has moved ahead of him. And well, Stella makes the catch, so Gong lines out, and the inning is over. Two out walk, no runs after one. Nothing, nothing. Game along with Joe Madden. Log on to WGNTV.com right now. Click on the WGN Sports Game Zone banner. Connect to all the up to the minute stats and information while you watch from home. Game Zone is sponsored by the Great Escape Pools, patio furniture, hot tubs, and more. Everything you need to have more fun at home this summer. Chris Coglin reports his ankles feeling better and hopes to be back in play when we move on to Cincinnati this weekend. Wilson Contreras leading off the Cubs second. Takes a strike. It's 0 2. Coglin with a mild sprain of his left ankle. And after that deep drive. Yeah, pretty ugly the way he went into the wall and came out of it pretty good. Mercer was able to snag it, but no throw, and that'll be an infield hit. First base runner for the Cubs. Nova gets a lot of outs on the ground. This time it's an infield hit for Contreras. So that's kind of a fun play with both guys leaving their feet to try to make a play. Javier Baez playing first tonight. A slash bunt that's bounced right to uh, Freeze. And he'll get a sacrifice out of it. And it's 
Matt Caesar. So even without Anthony Rizzo tonight, there are a lot of Z's in this lineup. Zestrizny, Caesar, Baez. No Zobrist. Fedorovich. Good call. Yeah, you got to get, you know. Maybe if we can talk Joe into a, as many Z's as possible lineup this weekend in Cincinnati, try to set some kind of a record. Lazdella. Bring in the Guinness Book people. Russell and Kawasaki. Jim Deshaies. That should be a hit. It is. So this has been an interesting inning. The Cubs have not hit a ball out of the infield, and they have runners at the corners with only one out. It's like dead air of ball baseball. Hit it on the ground. A little choppy bunt by Baez. If T fed. Kind of looked like he was being redshirted there for a while after being called up. He didn't get a chance to play. Had a pinch hit appearance yesterday, the day before. Seventh start of the year behind the plate. Hit 293 at AAA Iowa. And takes ball one inside. Football jersey night for the Cubs as they travel to Cincinnati. A lot of really creative jerseys. Chris Coglin with the vintage Barry Sanders Lions jersey. Uh, Joe Madden wearing a Lafayette jersey, and he played quarterback at Lafayette and was telling us about uh, one of his big games there. One zero is in for a strike. Now we are not wearing football jerseys but if you had to wear one tonight what would you be wearing. I don't know. It's a great question. Well think about it. Yeah. Swing and a miss. When I was a, a kid I was a Packer fan. Um, don't really have a real strong allegiance to any NFL team now. I would have to go with a Len Dawson Chiefs jersey number 16 because I was named after him the Hall of Famer. One shot out to McCutcheon he makes the catch and the Cubs will take the lead. Contreras scores Tim Fedorovich with a sack fly one to nothing. Cubs playing some small ball here. A couple infield hits, sack bunt, sack fly. Third RBI this season for Fedorovich. I probably would would uh, just to be a contrarian, I'd probably go out and get a CFL jersey. Yeah, why not? Uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats or something like that. Fouled away by Kawasaki. Weren't there two different teams, the Rough Riders, at one yes. time? Yeah. See, that would have been fun. We could have yeah. each had a different Rough Rider. Ottawa and uh, Saskatchewan. That's right. Because uh, John Caponera, comedian, used to do a whole bit about that. You got a team with, you got eight, you got eight teams, and <laughs> two of them have the same nickname. Hit hard on the ground into center. Caesar on his way to third. Kawasaki is safe. Good hustle. It's a double. Oh, Plays in front of him. Eyeballs it. Figures, yeah, I can beat this. Close though. Two in scoring position for Zestrizny. Looking for his first major league hit. He's 0 for 2. Left handed thrower, right handed batter.
Rob does have a win. And it came against the Pirates on August 29th, so it's not as if Joe has to get him through five tonight to you know, get him his first major league win, but if he's efficient, you never know. Got a nice swing. Well, you know he's going to be a pretty good hitter because he throws left and bats right. That's my theory. If you're athletic enough to to do you know things from both sides or you know throw one way, bat the other, then you're probably a pretty good athlete. As he misses one by about a foot. Well, not necessarily a great decision maker. <laughs> Cubs lead one to nothing midway through the second. Check out the Cubs blog at WGNTV.com. Sponsored by Jeff Vukovic, your local nationwide insurance agent serving the area for 38 years. To join the nation, contact Jeff at JeffVuk.com. Nationwide is on your side. One to nothing. Cubs lead as the Pirates bat here in the bottom of the second. Red hot Sean Rodriguez keeps writing basically his own name into the lineup. He's hitting 377 with six homers over his last 17 games. And Clint Hurdle's not going to take him out of the lineup now. I don't know if Rodriguez would want to do it. Be, he'd be a candidate to uh, be one of those guys that play every position. For sure. Kind of the Shane Halter. Yeah. Some deal. Yeah. Kind of have a little fun at the end of the season. Line to right foul. Can't be camping Harris did it I think once or twice. He's a Tovar maybe. A one two. Oh, doctor. What's wrong with that one? I'm going to hook him. And he struck him out. I don't miss your chance to watch October baseball from the all inclusive, unique atmosphere of the rooftops across from Wrigley Field. Limited playoff tickets are available now by calling. 773 248 roof or by visiting Wrigley Rooftops.com. 
Ironically, David Fries does not have a Z in his last name. What's up with that? I don't know. It should be David Fries. One and one. Having a nice year. Pop 13 home runs. Mostly third, a little first. I mentioned the Pirates will finish up in St. Louis. The Cardinals are hosting the Reds tonight. Really a must win for the Cardinals as they're on the outside looking in currently. I mean, it's not a must must win, but it sure feels like they need to win their game behind the Giants. For the second wild card spot. And the Giants are a what, game and a half behind the Mets. Yeah, Mets in pretty good uh, position. So if you're Clint Hurdle, if you want to play around with your lineup, really these last couple of days would be the time to do it because you're probably going to have more of a regular lineup this weekend right because those games matter to the Cardinals and to those other teams. Yeah and he's got some banged up guys so you know I'm, I'm not sure who's going to be available for him Harrison's done for the year we haven't seen Marte in this series Blanco played once in the four games. Um, so maybe his hands are tied and he just has to kind of play with what he's featuring here tonight. I know Cervelli not a hundred percent so. Yeah you're right. Forget what I said. <laughs> Here's Alan Hansen, switch hitter, and takes a fastball for a strike. Now, the thing you like about Rob Z is uh, the poise. He doesn't seem to be overwhelmed by the moment. Pitching here at the big league level. Really enjoyed being around him on these road trips, experiencing uh, big league hotels and travel for the first time. He's very upfront and honest about how cool he thinks all of it is. A lot of guys get to this level and they kind of like, yeah, you know, it's it's all right. He's like, wow, this is a great yeah. hotel. Look at <laughs> well, this. Well, I think bus. everybody everybody has the wow factor, but some guys, you know, try to play it cool. You can tell he does not take this for granted. I remember my I remember excuse me my first road trip um, you know, 100 years ago and uh, going to have breakfast at the team hotel and it was like I got a, like a glass of juice a cup of coffee and a donut or whatever you know bagel and it was like eighteen dollars and I was what <laughs> was Stella to Baez and the inning is over one nothing Cubs after two.
Sports, it's time for the Subway third inning triple play promotion. Text Subway to Subway three to nine seven nine 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 right now, and the 300th texter will get a thirty dollar gift card to a Subway restaurant in the Chicagoland area. Subway fresh is what we do. Second time through the order. Tommy Lestella takes ball one. He flied to right to open the ball game. Nova pretty aggressive last inning and being a little more discerning here, trying to pick away at the outside corner with that first offering. Mentioned Nova facing the Cubs for the first time. He'll be a free agent this offseason, and the good work he's done lately certainly has helped his value. This is McCutcheon. And what figures to be a pretty light uh, starting pitcher market. Plan your spring travel to Sloan Park in Mesa, Arizona with Cubs destinations. Spring training packages include game tickets, hotel accommodations, rental car, Cubs swag, and a private meet and greet with Cub players. Details available soon at Cubs.com slash travel. Set a reminder. Ball one to Almora. Nova hails from Polenque and the Dominican Republic. His family was not well off. And his dad managed a, a beach restaurant. And the story goes at one point, Yvonne had to sleep with his four siblings in the same bed. That's how tough things were. Good pick by Gong. They did that last time. We'll try somebody else. So two quick outs. Nova did grow up a Yankee fan. Played some short, some outfield before becoming a pitcher as a teenager. And then signed with the Yankees in 2004. He did leave the Yankee organization briefly in the 08 09 offseason. Rule 5 picked by the Padres, but they sent him back to the Yanks the following spring training. Here's the 1 1 to Russell. Get me over breaking ball. And apparently the Pirates have tried to sign him, um, at least there were some preliminary talks. Russell chased. And Nova makes quick work of the top of the order like he did back in the first inning.
coming up a little later our second to final bug fan cam of the season and you can tweet your selfies at hashtag bug Fridays keep it going boys just roll it right through the inning <laughs> a little earth wind and fire. yeah let's go oh man earth wind and fire Eric takes ball one. Back to back starts for Fryer. Two hits last night. It's low. It's two and one. Oh, that ball knuckled on Russell <laughs> because of the broken bat. Totally fooled Addison. He went one way, the ball went the other, and that's a base hit. Yeah, you can see yeah, yeah, all kinds of funky spin on that ball. That's their first hit. That's the last thing you expect when a right-handed hitter hits the ball in that direction for it to flare back the other way. That is funky. It's like something Jimmy Connors would do. And the pitcher Nova. How about Roscoe Tanner? Now he had some game. He did. <laughs> Ely Nastasi, Don Budge. Ooh, net call. Man, it gets away from Russell. Everybody safe. So, first and second with nobody else. Well, it, it looks like a good decision, doesn't it? The bunch right on top of home plate. And with the Fryer running, you figure like you got a real shot at him, and throw just presents a very difficult hop for Russell. He's not able to make the catch, so they don't get it out on the bun play, and that usually spells trouble. Sacrifice fielder's choice and an error on Fedorovich. See if Rob can dial up a ground ball here and get two. Cubs are very aggressive defending bunt plays whether it's you know with Anthony coming way in at first base Baez occasionally as a second baseman has crashed. Um, we've seen David Ross all the catchers really being aggressive trying to nail lead runners. Runners will hold. Did you catch my butt Collins. Yeah all the butt Collins yeah. He would always on a let. Ooh, net Ooh. court. One one now two and one. I'm a good bench tonight, huh? Yeah, there's some there's some there's some, there's some war on that bench. Some pretty good wins above replacement. Joe's basically taking applications for pinch hit duties tonight. I asked him I said you know get all your regulars out who might you use he said well we'll ask see so who wants to they want to grab an AB yep. base is loaded yeah, uh, good work by Mercer Stringly trying to get him to offer that pitch down looking hunting for the ground ball so he could get the double play Mercer not going to bite. Come 
He's a big fella. He's a switch hitter and he's been a lot better from the left side of the plate. Well, he has not had a lot of at bats from this side. Three on, nobody out. In the air to right, certainly deep enough to tie the game. Catch is made by Caesar, and it is one to one. Fryer is in, sack fly, Josh Bell. Now the key there is the other two guys stayed right where they are. So a bit of a moral victory for Zestrizny as he tries to limit the damage. Yeah, if you're faced with bases loaded and nobody out and you get out of it with allowing just the one run, absolutely you take that. Not there yet though. And a couple of tough hitters to get through. McCutcheon and then Gong. Low for ball one. To the shortstop Russell. They'll get one. They got them both. I didn't think he hit it hard enough, but they turn the six four three. So Rob Z does limit the damage. One one at the end of three. It was brought to you by State Farm. Combine your car and home insurance with State Farm and save. Find an agent at statefarm.com. Yeah, nice turn by Kawasaki. And they just do get McCutcheon there at first base. Good work by Strizny. And the rain is falling. A light rain as we begin the fourth. Curve for a strike. Pitch was up and Contreras lined it foul to right out of play. Single and a run in the second for Wilson. Ground ball. Knocked down and that's all Hansen can do. Contreras is two for two. He's half halfway to the infield cycle. Shortstop flag one second baseman knock one down but they're both hits for Contreras. 
We saw an actual cycle last night. John Jason with the first ever cycle in this ballpark. I can't remember who the hitter was, but I once saw a, a hitter pop up for the cycle. All four infield positions yep, in one game. That might be worse. You'd rather strike out four times. I think you would. Because yeah, there's there's so much promise in the swing and miss. Yes, if I got it, I would have hit it a mile. <laughs> four little meek pop-ups on the infield. There was a postponement today, and it was a game that could be important. The uh, Indians and Tigers were washed out in Detroit. If that game has wild card implications or possible postseason seeding implications for Cleveland, Detroit in the wild card race, uh, they would have to make that game up on Monday. Tigers went into action today, a game behind Baltimore for the second wild card spot. Orioles have an early lead over the Jays, one nothing, middle of the third in Toronto. So Toronto one better than Baltimore. Baltimore one better than Detroit. Is that right? Yeah. Tigers announced that over six inches of rain fell on Comerica Park over a 24 hour period so you can see why they were unable to get that game in as hard as they tried look out Baez strikes out and the bat ends up out at shortstop Hey Cubs nightly starting October 3rd on WGN at 6 p.m. Dan Rohn will get you up to date on all things Cubs nightly during the playoff run. I'll have some features. We'll hear from Joe Madden next week, David Ross. As we preview the division series, which starts a week from tomorrow. Against <laughs> the Mets, the Giants, the Cardinals. We'll find out. Wild card game is slated for Wednesday. And if there needs to be a play in game prior to the wild card game, is that Tuesday then? Monday. Monday. Monday is reserved for any. Okay. Well, let's hope. Extra games that need to be played. Caesar softly lines to Gung at third, two outs. Cardinals and Reds are tied at 1 1, top of the third. Alex Reyes for St. Louis tonight. Straley Dan pitching for Cincinnati. So it'll be a, a late arrival for the Reds back home tonight as well. Sacrifice fly for Fedorovich in the second. Contreras takes off for a second and he is safe. The ball hit the dirt and he took off. Mm -hmm. Good anticipation, good jump. Fryer played it nicely. Quick feet by Fryer back there. Didn't waste a lot of time, but let me see. Contreras up on the balls of his feet, ready to react. Sees ball in the dirt and off he goes. Tim had a nice year down at Iowa, hit 293. 1 0 is in for a strike. Eight long balls, drove in 39, 65 games with Iowa. I 
Hey, shout out to Kyle Schwarber. We got a nice tweet from Kyle as we started our telecast tonight. Bounce back to Nova. And the Cubs are done in the fourth in a 1 1 tie. Purchase 2016 postseason tickets for potential games to be played at Wrigley Field. Go to Cubs.com slash postseason. And there you can register and learn more about this postseason ticket purchase opportunity. The Cubs will conduct random drawings from among eligible fans who successfully complete the registration form. The registration period for NLCS ends at noon on Friday, October 7th. Rob Zestrizny making his first major league start. He's given up one hit through three. So I have a question as he faces Jung Ho Gung. Can Rob Zestrizny learn from Kyle Hendricks? Well, you often hear of lefty, lefty, righty, righty, but why couldn't he study what Kyle does? Well I think he probably could a little bit but I think more than anything we all can learn not to underrate the Strizny because that's what a lot of people did with Hendricks you know, he throws 89 right back of the rotation guy at best got a chance to win the Cy Young Award. And this guy has a similar profile he's not going to blow you away you know he pitches differently he throws the breaking pitch more in a, in a cutter. Speaking of Kyle, what a stretch he's had since a start against the Pirates back in June, and overall leads the majors this year in earned run average. He might win the Cy Young. He absolutely should win the "I Was Wrong About This Guy" award, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. Deep to center, but a lot of room out there, and it's Al Mora to make the catch. And let's step aside and see what's coming up on WGN. Back here in Pittsburgh, low 60s. Occasional rain, Cubs and Pirates wrapping up the season series. Cubs have won 14 of the first 18.
the last time the Cubs beat an opponent 15 times in a single season 1978 they went 15 and 3 against the Cardinals. It's Travis Wood. Pirates have been successful against left handed starters this year as Rodriguez strikes out 20 and 9 going into tonight. But Zestrisny pitching well here in the yeah, fourth. Yeah, a little different look there. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but an elevated fastball running away from Rodriguez with a swing and miss. The Pirates overall been a pretty good team offensively. The pitching is really what has let them down this year when you compare this year to last. To center, David Fries is aboard with two outs. Now, the Pirates are in an interesting spot because they had been playoff team each of the last three seasons. They do have a, a pretty easily identifiable core, and now that will be it for Zestrisny. We'll get back into that a little later. Joe Madden telling his lefty, "You gave me everything I asked for." So we'll have a pitching change here in the bottom of the fourth. Cubs one, Pirates one. We'll be right back. Call to the pen brought to you by AT&T. Here's Travis Wood. Already on for the 76th time. 4-0 with a 3.05 ERA. Uh, so has really backed off the usage of Travis here in the month of September. Struggled for a bit last month. And so was periods where he called his name quite frequently. So I think they decided to back off a little bit, let him regroup, and uh, it's paid off. It's been good here in September after a rough month of August. Runner at first, two outs, one one tight. So back to the point I was making about the Pirates as it starts to rain a little harder. Fine line, right? Uh, if you're Neil Huntington and Clint Hurdle, you put your heads together here in the offseason and try to figure out what went wrong this year. And how much tweaking you need to do, how much tweaking you want to do. For a club that won 98 games last year. Right, and how much tweaking your budget's going to allow you to do anyway? No, well, that will be quick. Wood throws one pitch and gets out of the fourth. It's 1 1.
by Fifth Third Bank. Now get access to over 45,000 fee free ATMs nationwide. Leaning harder. Kawasaki takes a strike from Nova. Curve is outside like the head groundskeeper had a an update for Brian Gorman between innings on the weather. Out of play to left. Remember Jesus Montero the one time big time prospect for the Yankees and was traded to the Mariners and was a triple A first baseman for the Blue Jays he uh, received a 50 game suspension for a PED or banned stimulant actually. Kawasaki strikes out. Don't miss your chance to experience spring training at beautiful Sloan Park in Mesa Arizona reserve your place in line by joining the spring training season ticket holder waiting list it's easy and free to register for details go to Sloan Park dot com chance for Travis Wood to get in the bat here uh, was it not Jesus Montero who had that incident with the scout. And he was a triple A with the Mariners. Um, I don't know a that story but I know cream. he's had some issues. Yeah. Well, this is the second time he got caught up in the uh, biogenesis deal right. too. Nova makes quick work. Travis Wood. See, uh, 2014 Seattle Scout and Mariners minor leaguer Jesus Montero. Good thing about an ice cream sandwich. You have no recollection of this? Of the ice cream sandwich incident? No, no. <laughs> I don't. Knocked down. By freeze, he gets it to Nova, and the inning is over. Well, they get on that, though. Checking and an official Cubs MasterCard debit card only available at your local Wintrust Community Bank. Go to Wintrust.com slash Cubs to learn more. Member FDIC. In 
We play the home half of the fifth. Each team with a sacrifice fly. Fedorovich for the Cubs, Bell for the Pirates. Happy to report that uh, Sauerkraut Saul is the uh, 2016 the champion for the, uh, the daily pierogi race here at the ballpark. Okay. Yeah. Which one is Saul? Saul. Um, I don't think Saul is in that picture. He won 17 times. All the other pierogies won 16 times. So it was very dramatic at the end. This is, is this is the Belmont Stakes of a mascot racing. They run <laughs> about a mile and a quarter here. All one to Fryer. Wood in relief of Rob Zestrisny. Gave up one run, it was unearned in three and two thirds. I got a question for you. Okay. How come baseball players don't wear rain gear on the field when it's raining? Right? You could you could design a, a pullover that was rainproof that would allow you to move freely, wouldn't slow you down at all. Sure. Would prefer not to be waterlogged, I, I would think. Russell gets Fryer. I mean, they would have to, you know, have the number and the uniform and the name and everything else that the regular uniform would have. So we should follow up on the uh, ice cream sandwich story. Apparently, the story went. The Seattle scout was watching Montero and yelled at him to hustle in a minor league game a couple of years ago and ordered an ice cream sandwich had it sent to the dugout Montero then got very upset and went after the scout and got suspended by the Mariners and I think the scout got sent home as well. Yeah the one story I read said that Montero came into the stands with a bat and they were screaming obscenities at each other. Now you should say well the scout had no business sending a, an ice cream sandwich to a player in his own organization but he's probably trying to send him a message man we're not we're not here this, this is not uh, pink tea and molly coddles it's, we're here to play ball. Bounce to first Baez. For the out. You're not thinking like that kind of look. No, no, that probably wouldn't work. That would be fun, though. I'd love to see a guy go up there and hit him with a yellow slicker on. Talking about just kind of a pullover with a little water repellent that mimic the uh, the uniform. That guy looks like a duck. Mercer with two outs. Be disappointed if the Pirates have taken cover. The swashbuckling guys in, in costume seems like they wouldn't be scared away by the rain. But they would enjoy it. I walked by one of those Pirates on my way to the ballpark today. Yeah, I was in full regalia, and boy, he gave me the, the stink eye. Kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> there they are, to the form, embracing it. The last chance. Are they going to drive to uh, Oakland for Raiders season after this game yeah, ends? They're not really just Pittsburgh Pirate fans. They just embrace any kind of a plunder.
One and two on Mercer. Here's the pitch by Travis Wood in the air. And Moore Jr. deep in center, and that will end it. To the sixth. One one tie. They're not backing down since 1876. This bugs for you. The Continues to the downpour. But the and spike and the that has not dampened the spirit it had been by of these party pirates fans. Like the renegades of the rotunda. That's what they call them. I like it. That was the sign. So I assume oh. that's what they call themselves, yes. <laughs> I didn't realize you had to read to do this job. Kind of feels like we're just going to play until we can't anymore, and then that might be it. But we're tied, so somebody's got to grab a lead here. No more, no more ties. In baseball, you can hear the rain hitting our field microphones. Yeah, you better be careful. It might put me to sleep. That's how I, I've got a little app on my iPad that plays rain noises. It's a great white noise when you're trying to sleep. Grounder to short. It's Mercer. Not a good throw, but tag applied. And now Moore is out. Hit the ball pretty well tonight, but 0 for 3. Now, postseason action starts October 4th. Unbelievable drama. Unforgettable games. Unstoppable drama. Undeniable greatness. Go to MLB.com slash postseason for a full schedule. Well, that's it. They're going to. Oh. oh. Heavy stuff's not going to come down for quite some time. Wind really blowing. Yeah, they must have thought there was a chance it was going to skirt this area or they would have put the tarp on before the inning started. But apparently that's not going to work out. He used to get that tarp on before the water and the wind take over. And he 
got to make sure that infield is preserved. You're just starting to see a little shine on that infield dirt. So yeah, it was it was time. As we said early, JD, the pace of this game, you had two pitchers working quickly, you had guys swinging mm -hmm. early in counts. And we got into the sixth uh, pretty darn quickly. I would imagine uh, some local scribe columnists would uh, say this is a pretty good metaphor for the Pirates season to have this rain come down on their uh, home finale. A year that started with high expectations, understandably so. It was a good club last year. They've been good for a number of years now after that 20 year drought, 20 years in which they did not have a winning season. But things did not.